Around 2018-2019, in my mid-30s, I had gotten extremely healthy after making some lifestyle changes. I had gotten into working out, strength training, drinking green smoothies every day, giant salads, you name it. I was in the best health of my life. And I was going to all my preventive care appointments, as I should be, although no mammograms yet since I wasn't 40. Cancer is virtually non-existent in my family history. Of nearly 30 blood relatives up through my grandparents, only one relative had any type of cancer, which was an aunt that had early stage breast cancer in her 70s and was luckily treatable. So cancer wasn't even on my radar. I felt really lucky. I, I had such a strong, healthy family history. But unfortunately, that didn't matter. I was 37 then, and I happened to feel a lump near my underarm while taking a shower. Felt like the size of a pea. I figured it was just a cyst, but you know, still wanted to get it checked out. So I eventually had a mammogram and an ultrasound and then a biopsy when my scan showed it wasn't just a cyst. And that's when I met Dr. Diane Runk, a breast surgeon who became such an integral part of my life from that point on. The biopsy showed the lump was cancerous, but was small and likely early stage. But it was a few days later in March 2020, I met with Dr. Runk to go over treatment options and find out the type of breast cancer that it was. And that's when I saw the paper. Dr. Runk shared a piece of paper with me that had my pathology, pathology results. And immediately, big and bold on the paper, I saw estrogen negative, progesterone negative, HER2 not overexpressed. And I knew right then that I had triple negative breast cancer. I'm three years cancer free now, and getting to this milestone is so significant, since with triple negative breast cancer, the risk of recurrence is a little higher. But at three years, it starts to taper, and then after five years, it really starts to drop off. So when I can make it to five years out, that'll be so incredible. But it'll always be a part of me and this mission to raise awareness. And I continue to feel if I can help just one person out there, hopefully more, but just one more person with their health journey, it is so worth it to me. When you're faced with your own mortality in your 30s, it really drives home the point just how precious life is. And when you're feeling like near death from some of the toughest days of cancer treatment, it really makes you appreciate the good days. And despite all of that, all the challenges, the hardships, this whole journey, it has given me one of the most powerful reminders I live my life by every single day. I'm still here. I'm still here.